24 under out of bounds play Bounty hunters what they call me Kevin Burgess where my army's on me My calling bro get a bucky Pity parties what you always throwing If you don't work on music don't expect to eat from torn Your first is born bro I've been on course of blueprints laying them out I tried to pay away the pain but it's still hanging around Honestly I never said this life was perfect Oh, what's going on guys? Jesse Scott here, one of the mechanics down here at Keep It Reet. And uh, today I'm going to give you guys a bit of a build breakdown on our latest build. This is Jason Ferrin's Pro Drift Car. And uh, we're going to give you a bit of an in-depth tour of what she's got. Alright, so she started her life out as a granny spec. It's a 1988 Nissan Skyline R31 wagon. Uh, we stripped it back to a bare shell and basically built what you see today. It's sprayed in the lilac purple. It's got a lot of custom little goodies on it, some um, universal flares chopped to suit, and a custom bonnet vent up there. Uh, around the front here, Series 1 headlights with a Passage grille, standard 31 bar. Got some nice speed holes drilled in the front there, and a custom lip along the bottom. Um, going down the side of the car, we got some gangster Formula 1 style carbon fiber mirrors. Uh, we got R32 four-door big boy side skirts on there. I think they're K-Mac Aero. So right now, it's sitting on her hot boy wheels wrapped in some Zek Novas. Uh, these are T7R two-piece. Uh, so the rears are 11 and a half inch wide Neg 19 and the fronts are nine and a half inch wide plus zero. Um, moving around to the back of the car, once again, a standard R31 rear bar and then it's got an R34 JSI Aero add-on underneath that rear apron there. Standard taillights and garnish there with a hint of nightshade. All the windows apart from the windscreen are polycarbonate and the windscreen itself is actually V8 super style spec and has the Mr. Wires ran through it, which is pretty cool. The rear wing was designed by Jason himself. It's laser cut aluminum done by MRC and it gives the rear end that sexual look. All right, let's take a look at the heart of the beast and pop this bonnet and see what she's got. The mighty Barra. So she's a four litre Barra. Uh, these things come out of taxis and whatnot here in Australia. It's had a fresh bottom end rebuild, just factory rods, pistons, crank, fresh bearings, fresh rings, all that good stuff. Uh, it's got a metal head gasket, ARP head studs, new timing chain, all the good stuff, factory cams and factory VCT. So over on the cold side, we've got the Plasma Man intake, the Bosch drive-by-wire throttle body, we got Bosch 1650cc injectors, turbo smart fuel pressure regulator. All the lines and fittings were supplied by Zoo Performance throughout the entire car. Um, we got a PWR front mount intercooler up there. All our fluid coolers are supplied by Phoenix radiators. Um, over towards the hot side, we've got a six boost manifold holding up the Hypergear ADR45 turbo. Uh, it pushes around 23 PSI and makes around 580 rear wheel kill wasps on the hub dyno. Turbo Smart ProGate 60mm wastegate with these beautiful titanium screamer parts. And then it's also got a full titanium exhaust system, four inch dump into a three inch straight pipe with a big boy five inch rear section back there. It's got the R35 coil packs and the entire setup is powered by the Helltech Nexus ECU, so that runs the entire car everywhere from the engine setup to the headlights, tail lights, hazard lights, the whole lot. We'll take you guys inside the car now and have a look what's going on in there. True. All right, on the inside of the car, we have a 600 point roll cage, some beautiful Sparco Pro 2000 seats, and some purple Zoo Performance harnesses. Um, we got the crispy Nardi steering wheel, of course, Jason's favorite. Uh, we've got the IC7 dash display up here and the Helltech Nexus keypad. So handbrake wise, we have one. We got the two-way hydraulic handbrake supplied by a Costal. Uh, so pulling back, we'll do the rear brakes and pushing forward is actually in line with the front brakes. So it's a pretty cool prototype setup there. For the gearbox, we have the G-Force four-speed dog box. Makes all the cool noises, bangs gears, which is great. Still retains the H pattern, um, but yeah, it has the straight cut gears for all the cool noises and shifting. So the dash and the door cards are wrapped in this beautiful suede material. Looks carrying. All right, let's head down the back and check out the rear end. Hey! 
Uh, you can't see it right now because we've got these fancy little covers here, but sitting under there, we have the radium fuel cell with the built-in surge tank. It's got a Walbro 460 lift pump and two 525 surge pumps. So sitting under the fuel cell, we have the diff. That's out of a BABF XR6 turbo ute. It's actually been shortened a touch to sit in this car, um, even with the wide flares. Uh, it's got 31 spline billet axles and a full spool diff center. And then on the end of that, we've chopped up the backing plates to host the dual BF calipers there, one for the handbrake and one for the footbrake. Suspension wise, she's sitting on the Shockworks coilovers and it has the full Acostal catalog in the front end. So that's replaced the factory K-frame, steering rack cross member, the knuckles, steering arms, all of it's from Acostal. It's a pretty crazy setup. It gets some pretty crazy lock and it handles amazingly. So Stewie from Acostal Motorsport really knows what he's doing when he's setting up suspension and steering for these cars. Uh, with one minor adjustment at the track, Jason was feeling right at home in this thing and beginning to absolutely shred. So in the rear end, suspension wise, it's got the Shockworks shock in there and then just some adjustable springs and spring seats. All right, so that's the basic rundown on the Barrow Wags. Um, if you've got any further questions, make sure you drop them down below and we'll get back to you. Um, alternatively, we do have a full build series on our YouTube channel building this thing. I think there's like 14 videos in there. So you can go check it out. So yeah, Jason has big plans to take this thing around the world and drift in some wicked events. So keep an eye out, you might see it at a drift track near you. And yeah, hopefully see him on some podiums. Uh, I just wanna say a big thank you to all the companies that have come on board and helped the build so far. Um, like I was saying before, got Shockwork suspension, Zoo Performance, Acostal steering systems, Hypergear turbos, Maculec Industries, Phoenix Radiators, Zecnova Australia, Pulse Titanium, and Mini's Paint and Panels. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this brief build breakdown. If you did, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and uh, stay tuned for more videos on this beast.